So I have a scene set up here that you would typically see within the Elder Scrolls style game. And creating that health bar is actually a lot easier than what you would think. So we're going to start by changing this little health bar that we have here. Now all this is, is just a PNG image with the background deleted out in Photoshop. Uh, so you can pretty much get this just by looking on Google if you wanted to. Well, if anyone wants it, please just speak up in the comments and I will leave a, uh, a link. So we're going to change the texture type to uh, Sprite right here. Click Apply. And then we need to apply this to our game. So to do that, we need to go to Game Object, go to UI, and let's go to Image. Not Raw Image, just Image. So what do we do now? Well, the idea is we just drag and drop this sky bar into the source image right here. And we want to have it down the bottom of our screen, which is where we'd normally see it zero out the position and change the width and the height. So the width is probably going to be about maybe 350, 400 maybe. And height probably about 45-ish, maybe 50. I guess it just depends on you. So I'm going to double click and it may look a little bit bright and a little bit crazy at the moment. That's because I have some post-processing effects going on. And we just need to move it up slightly to probably about there. And let's press play and just see how this looks in the scene as it is. So that looks okay. Probably could do it being a little bit thinner, but again, that's up to you. That's your own personal preference. Now, what do we do next? Well, the easiest thing to do is use this little square right here to represent the health. How do we do that? Easy. On the image, or rather on the canvas, we should say, uh, right click. And go to UI, and we'll do this one as, let's do this as a raw image. Let's mix it up a little bit. And I want this to be kind of relative to the image. So we're going to have it connected to the image. And set the position to zero. So it appears right there. And then drag and drop this onto there. Now, you can use just normal red color if you wanted to, rather than have a texture. I have this one just kind of give it a little bit of a difference to it because it is redder at the top and a little bit darker at the bottom. It's just what I did. So height, let's have this as probably 30 maybe. And width, maybe 300. Yeah, we'll, st we'll stick with 300 because it's a nice round number. Again, you could probably max this out a little bit more, do whatever you wanted. So now let's check how this looks. Perfect. So we can see our health bar is starting to appear. So how do we actually get this to work as expected? Well, we've got to use a C-sharp script. So let's right click, create C-sharp script, and let's call this just Sky Health. So this is the script which is going to represent your actual health in game. And we're going to write it, it's not too long, but then we're also going to create a coroutine which will allow us to simulate losing and gaining health. So we need to state just a couple of variables to start off with. So I'm going to get rid of just the annotations. I'm going to keep void start because that's how we're going to start the coroutine to do the simulation. So we'll start with public float and we'll have health length. And we've set that to 300 currently. Next one is going to be the actual health bar itself. So public game object and health bar which is going to be the red one i should say uh, next we need a bool whether it's true or false to say are we recovering health so public bool recover health and next one is going to be let's say let's prepare a little bit for our simulation so we could say we're gonna have um gosh i'm not quite sure should we say maybe I don't know, a weak potion or something. Whether we'll use it, I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see what happens. So public float, we'll just have weak spell and make it equal to 0 0.1 maybe. And we'll probably change or add another one as we go along just to see what happens. So what do we need to do? Well, in void update, we need to make sure that our health length is always going to be representative of that game object. So we need to have health bar dot get component and we need to access the rect transform right there. Oh close bracket and then we need to change the size delta. Remember capitalization is important. 
And what do we do here? Well, we have to make it equal to a new vector 2. Not vector 3, because we're only dealing with two axes here. We're not dealing with a 3D object. We're only dealing with a 2D object. So this is a new vector 2. So x by y. So the y is never going to change. It's always going to be 30. It's the x that changes. And we're making x equal to this health length here. So health length on the x, comma, 30, or whatever you have as the height on the y semicolon. Next what we need to do is basically have an if statement to say if we're recovering health then we need to do the following. So if and in brackets recover health equals true then we now need to check if recovering the sorry health length is 300 or greater because you're always going to use that same 300. You would just use math to calculate what the actual value of your health would be based on that length of 300. So if health length is greater than or equal to 300, always best to have that greater than just in case, then open curly bracket, recover health equals false. So what that does is says, nope, health is now full. We don't need to recover it anymore. But we do need an else statement because we need to say, if it isn't equals to true, then we actually need to increase the health. So health length plus equals, and we'll use weak spell, semicolon. So what will happen here is we will increase our health 0.12 until we get to full health. So this is the point where we get to simulate losing health and then using that weak potion or weak spell or whatever. So we need to do that using a coroutine. I enumerator and we'll just call it simulate health. Open close bracket, open curly bracket and we'll wait for a couple of seconds first. So yield, return, new, wait for seconds and we'll wait for five seconds and then we'll lose let's say 30 health so health length minus equals 30 so they that would be your hit points you would lose you know this amount of hit points or if you've got more than 300 health you would just do the math calculation to work out what that actually is and then let's wait for another couple of seconds. So yield, return, new, wait for seconds. Let's wait for two more seconds. And let's say we get hit again. Uh, this time a slightly weaker hit maybe. So we take off 20. And let's wait for three seconds, I guess. And let's have a big hit. So let's take off 40 maybe. And let's wait for another three seconds and then we can use our potion. So recover health equals true, semicolon and save the script. So basically this simulation is going to wait for five seconds, then take off 30 health, wait for another two, take off 20 health, wait for another three and then take off 40 health. So we'll have, what's that, 90 health taken off us in total. Then after three seconds, we've used a potion which will recover all our health. So if we head back to Unity, and uh, let's quickly just add in an empty game object to store the script on. So bring it onto there. And then what we need to do is just drag and drop that raw image, which is the red health, onto there. And then in the script itself, we should probably do the start co routine. So start co routine in brackets simulate health open close bracket close bracket again semicolon and save so our health bar is set our script to monitor our health and modify it is also set so let's try this out we should be able to see our health bar go up and down as expected and there we go so we've lost some health lost more health and some more, and now we should recover because we've just used a potion or a spell. So you can see a weak potion is recovering it slowly. You should be able to see in the inspector panel over here the recovery amount. And it's getting there slowly. So what we could also do 
is add in a uh, strong spell, I guess. So public float strong spell. We'll make it equal to 0 0.5. And down here where we've got plus weak spell, we'll make it plus strong spell. Save. And now let's try this one out. Oh, I have forgotten to put the semicolon at the end. And let's try this out. So this should look, well, it should uh, obviously increase our health faster, naturally. So there we are, we're losing our health now. And again, and we should increase. There we go. So you can see it was increasing our health a lot quicker. And we should get to max health and stop. Perfect. You can see our health length is now 300. And it really is as simple as that.